on January the 9th, 2024, MEP from Finland Patrice Sovamo made a proposal to apply to Hungary the procedure provided for in Part 2 of Article 7 of the EU Treaty. It allows us to suspend its voting rights in the Council of the European Union. Such a decision requires a proposal submitted by either one-third of the member states of the European Union or the European Commission, and the consent of the European Parliament is also necessary. On January the 12th, Petri Savama announced that the required number of votes had been collected. We are one step closer to withdraw Orban's voting rights. The feedback was strong. Thanks to everyone who has supported this historical petition, I gathered 120 names across party lines and from several member states. Petri Sarvama, member of the European Parliament, on X social network. According to Savama, it is now important to assess the overall support for the petition at the plenary session of the European Parliament. EU member states are considering depriving Hungary of its voting rights in the EU Council to approve an agreement to provide a 50 billion euros aid package to Ukraine. In December 2023, the head of the Hungarian government, Viktor Orban, said that funds for financial support for Ukraine should not come from the budget of the European Union. They want to give the money to Ukraine from inside the EU budget. Hungary wants to give it outside the EU budget. They have the possibility, but if we don't agree on this, they don't have the option of resolving this from the EU budget without Hungarian approval. Hungary is also in no hurry to ratify the agreement on Sweden's membership in NATO. Orban refers to the reluctance of the Hungarian parliament to make this decision. At the same time, in his speech in parliament, he noted that ratification of Sweden's application to join the alliance was not urgent. Washington is concerned about the position of the Hungarian prime minister, first of all with regard to assistance to Ukraine. As for Sweden's membership in NATO, Budapest promised that it would not be the last in the EU to ratify for the agreement, the US State Department said. We are disappointed that Prime Minister Orban has chosen to stand alone in the European Union in questioning whether to support Ukrainians who are asking for the very same freedom that he asked for when he was a young student. The point on Sweden's accession. We will see if Hungary follows through on that promise as we move ever closer to Sweden joining the alliance, which I hope will be soon. James O'Brien, Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, from a statement on the US State Department website. Since the start of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine, Orban has been the only EU leader to have met with Putin more than once. In recent years, Hungary has been actively developing relations not only with Russia, but also with China and the countries of Central Asia. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.